Hey guys, what's going on? It's RJ from Lay Dapper, and I'm here to bring you another video into how to get the spread collar style on your shirt. So I know it's been a couple months since my last video, but now that I'm back situated in school, uh, I'm good to go back to uh, making some some great videos for uh, Dapper style. So basically, what we have here is just a regular collared shirt, and what I'm trying to get here is uh, how to get your shirt to have this modern spread collar style. So, like I said, we have a shirt here, and what you guys can do is first take out the collar stays underneath of the collar, and then what you're gonna wanna do is, you know, have the shirt on, and basically, as you can see, flip the ends of the collar in, so that when you have the tie, you know, that's how spread the collar is going to be just like I have on now as you can see so instead of being traditionally pointed down you know having somewhat of a style of a, of a modern cut now you have basically an extra spread collar shirt you know I'm gonna show you guys another tip on to how to keep it there permanently so guys now we have the shirt on an ironing board and what I'm going to show you is just a little quick fix on to how to keep or your collar, you know, permanent if you guys want the permanent modern uh, spread style on your collar. So we're going to pick up this thing called liquid stitch. And this works like a charm whenever you guys just have quick fixes just like this. So first what we're going to do is hold for one sec. So you're gonna see just the inside of the collar and if you see this stitching alongside where your neck line is you're gonna fold the end of the flap in so that it'll be parallel to the stitching on the shirt and then basically if you see this triangle this is what you're gonna to wanna to put the liquid stitch on so, I'll show you guys. So, just along the sides, just the shape of an L. Just like that. And if you guys want to cut across in and just fill some in. So, then now all you're going to do is just have the collar in and it's parallel to the stitching which is here and there you go you just apply heat to it just like this there you have it and guys this is what the end product looks like so if you can take a look uh, you have the flaps that are in uh, they're permanently there after you applied the liquid stitch and the heat uh, and this is what it looks like uh, when you put a tie on and you know you tighten it up your collar curves in and it's also a lot more spread than what it looked like before you applied the liquid stitch and there you have it. Also, uh, like I said, you can apply the liquid stitch, but you don't have to. Another tip that you can also do is literally have the shirt without any glue on it, uh, tie your tie, and then just take the individual flaps at the end and then just literally tuck it in or tuck it under uh, your collar and you'll have it, you know, you'll have it there as, uh, as the force around the collar just holds everything down. Uh, but you know if you don't have the tie on and you just want that modern spread style on your shirt you can literally just have it just like that you know just a different look a different style and also you don't have to spend you know countless dollars on just a shirt that's just like this you might want to you might not this is just a tip for you guys to just save a little couple bucks so if you guys like this video like comment and subscribe uh, my blog, which I actually forgot to mention in my last video, 
the web address will be down below. It's actually matalino.weebly.com. And also, if you guys can take pictures of your shirts, your little do-it-yourself projects at home, please use the hashtag LayDapper so I can check it out and I can repost it on the Instagram page. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. This is RJ from LayDapper. Good night.